We don't make them like this anymore. How you guys doing in there? It's won't stay here. It's too low. It's very comfortable. It's made in the early 50s. I thought it would brighten up the background. You know, the key to making YouTube videos like this is the background should be interesting, but not distracting. And this puppy back here is a little bit distracting. But anyhow, that's got nothing to do with pulling billiards and poking whitey. So what do we got down here? Uh, the one's a stop shop for the two to get back on the three. And the problem here is the four. The seven and eight is definitely workable. There's just different ways you can do it. Of course, there's different ways you can run every rack. Um, but what's the best way? That's the issue. So getting from the four to the five, we're going to have to come up a little bit higher and cut this four into the side while bouncing back and getting in this doorway for the five ball so we can go two rounds and come back out on the six. Um, I think that's where I screw this rack up to. So seven to the eight, I mean, we could go two rounds and bounce back on this side of the eight. Or we can get this angle and draw back on the eight. Just that's the better way to do it. For me, maybe not for you, because just because I have a lot of confidence in my draw shot, I spent a lot of time working on drawing the cue ball when I was young, because I thought I just thought it was the coolest thing I've ever seen. Um, so that's the shot <laughs> I practiced, you know. And that comes up in another video, the Elf Master Tips video, in which I, I was trolled big time. Um, for a lot of reasons, um, some of them boys from AZ Billiards don't like me, so they came over and they kind of ridiculed me for, for not using Asian tips that cost $35. I like Alcmaster because it helps me draw the cue ball. There's basically a sponge on the end of your stick and they stick to the cue ball and they, they let you ask Corey Dool, he knows. Anyhow, where are we at here? Uh, I guess go ahead and start rolling this puppy. Stop shot on the one for draw back on the two, but not too far um, because we need this angle to get back on the four ball. So the plan is to get a little bit down table from where the cue ball is now to get this angle to bounce back off this rail and get high on the four so we can get back on the five. And that's what I did, but here's the problem with this. I, I tried to get a little bit funky and use the Shane Van Boning stroke. If you, if you ever get some time, uh, watch, watch a Shane Van Boning video. And if you can, put it in slow motion and uh, watch his stroke. It's it's double pumped. And I thought, well, this is going to be easy, so I'm just going to get fancy here and use the Shane stroke. And uh, watch what happens. My, my elbow drops before I actually stroke the ball. I actually dropped twice. And that's that's fine after you, you hit the ball, but it's not fine while you're hitting the ball. So I'm gonna loop that a couple of times um, and show you what I mean. And what happened is I didn't, I didn't, hit, I didn't hit the three ball hard enough, so I didn't get high on this four like I wanted to. And now I'm forced to draw back on. I'm straight in, so now I have to draw back to this rail, still get high. It's a very touchy shot here. Um, it's, 
this is a problem just waiting to happen. Uh, you see how I, I hit the nine before I, I hit the rail? Well, that was actually a blessing in disguise because if I didn't do that, if it didn't nick the nine before before anything else, then, then I would have got snuckered behind this nine ball and it would have been the ultimate safe on myself because I would have had to somehow go down the table two rails and try to hit that five ball just just to hit it and, and hope to get re-safe or be in a position that where my opponent has to play safe back on me or something. Uh, I would have lost the game if I didn't nick that nine, so... I admit I got a little bit lucky with nicking that nine. Uh, so this is just a two rail bounce out for the eight ball. I would come up short and go to this rail and come back. But I'm still intent on drawing this ball back to here. I think that's a better way than trying to get straight in and draw them back to here or going two rails and coming back over on this side. I like this side here. And if it's a, if it's a cut, it's okay because it's going to be a natural uh, shape on the nine ball. Even if I have to go back down table and back up, you with me? So I think I think um, the basic lesson of this video, the basic uh, takeaway is. Don't don't try to get too fancy. Um, even if you're feeling cocky, just win the game, and you can get fancy at the bar. You know, keep the fancy stuff away from the pool game. But you're not Shane Van, Van Boning, and I'm not Shane Van Boning, and uh, only Shane Van Boning is Shane Van Boning. Uh, copy his uh, basics. Copy everything he does. I would not copy that double pump stroke. Maybe you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna dig up a clip of Shane and show you exactly what I mean. I'm gonna cut it right into this part right here, and we'll resume. So it's very very subtle, but there's a backswing, a pause, and a little bit more of a backswing before he shoots it. So after this, we'll go in slow motion, and I'll show you. It's hard to catch. But there's the pullback on change stroke. And there's a pause, a slight pause at the bridge, and another slight, there's the pause, and see that slight pullback? And I know he's shooting a Massé shot there, so again, it's hard to tell. But in the next clip, this one right here, it's very pronounced. So look for the pause. This is his pullback right here. Right, there's the first pause, and then another pullback right there, and that's a, and then another pause, and then that's the uh, double pump, Shane Van Boning stroke, and it works for him. But don't forget, he's been doing this for many, many years. Okay, a lot of guys wouldn't draw this back because they're they fear uh, scratching in the side. And just because they're not real confident in their draw stroke, this is bottom right to come back up table for this eight ball. And I come up a little bit short, but it's okay. Because it, once again, it's natural position on the nine ball. I mean, that's good enough. And what, what happens is people try to get perfect and straight in on the eight so they can just draw back for the nine. Um, don't do that because if you go just a little bit low now you now you have to go to this rail and you're bouncing down the table and that's a scratch shot right in the corner. Keep it simple, stupid. Keep it simple, dummy. So this is it, it's a cut, but it's not super thin. It's not as thin as it's gonna look here. And again, it's a natural angle to bounce back up off the bottom rail for the nine ball. If you were thinner, if it was closer to the center of the table and you really had to cut this ball, it's a natural angle to go all the way down to the other end rail and bounce back up for a perfect shot on the nine ball. Either way, you can't lose.
And that's why I wanted to get on that side, the far side of that eight ball. This is just, and once again, I mean, you're on the nine ball now. And I've seen a lot of guys dog this. Really basic, simple shot. Um, I, I think it's just plain old nerves or a self-defeating kind of thing where they just don't want to win. Or maybe they want to win too much and they try too hard. It's really easy poking. Just stop the cue ball. That's that. Thank you guys for watching another video. I yeah. appreciate you. This ain't staying here. It, this will be part of the background decor just because I think it's stunningly beautiful. Um, yeah, we'll figure it out. Peace, everybody. Have a great week. I was going to say weekend, but weekend's over. So have a great week. He can do this.